everybody, this is Praxis. You know, I built the entire house, but I think this is probably the most complicated piece of carpentry that I've ever done in my life. It's, uh, it's all coming down to the angles. Uh, if you recall, uh, I think yesterday, or was it yesterday? I don't know. Uh, I was working on trying to get this thing here. I kind of designed it up in CAD and then figured out what all these little angles were so I could know how to set the miter saw, which I'm using as a table right now, to the right angle. And I've made some of these and they seem like they're working in. Uh, this one here had to be cut a little bit in the back. This one has this angle, this one has this angle. And I'm about to put this one in and the way that I'm doing it is I'm just kind of randomly cutting boards to that length and then I'm setting them up so that they uh, did I get the one backwards? No, I didn't. Okay, <laughs> I thought I cut the wrong end of this one. All right, uh, I'm setting these guys in here, and what I want to do is find out what this length is, so that this one can be cut to length with just a, a straight 90 degree square cut. So I've got a little mark down here where that lines up with where this front edge is going to be here. I've got that on the back side, and I'm just taking the, the lip of it and tucking it just around the edge at the top, and then what I'm doing is I'm just eyeballing and making sure that this is parallel to that. Uh, if you close one eye and kind of just sight along, your eye is actually a pretty good judge of what's parallel when you get two lines right next to each other. You can see if they're diverging or if they're approaching each other or whatever. So I'm just using that technique to get this lined up. Now there is a weakness to this technique and that is that every single time I do it, I'm comparing, oops, I'm comparing the uh, the parallel nature of one to the, the board that I did prior. So every time I do this, there's going to be a small error uh, involved in doing it. And I'm going to mark that right there. Every time I do this, there's going to be a small error involved in, uh, in you know, how uh, level these are. And that could compound if I kept going. But as it is, uh, there's only like four of them. So the, uh, the amount of error that I'm going to be able to compile is not that great. So I'm not really worried about it. Uh, and it's a pretty effective way of... Uh, getting them in. So it looks like this one needs to be cut right here. <sighs> so I take this thing down. I'm pretty proud of this. It's coming out pretty well. It goes up like that. And you see there's a, a piece of flashing on the bottom, a little drip edge. Put this right here. And then this guy goes on here. Uh, this is a saw I borrowed from my dad and apparently the, uh, the blade is a little dull. It's uh, vibrating kind of weirdly. All right, here we go. I'm cutting them a little long to start, and then I can shave them down. And by a little, I mean just a tiny, tiny bit. If anything, I'm just going to be shaving such a small amount off. All right, so now I take this and I put it in here, and I do kind of the, a similar test where I just eyeball and make sure that this thing actually is capable of being uh, parallel. And that one actually looks pretty good, so I can screw this one right in. Uh, and that's what I'm doing today, is uh, I think I'm just gonna get this one done. I thought, I, you know, at the beginning of the day, I always have grand ambitions for how much I'm gonna get accomplished in a day. But I think for today, you know, just getting this one in will be nice. Tomorrow is supposed to be nice weather. You know, not raining or anything. So uh, I've got a shot at doing the other one tomorrow. Now this one took me a couple of days, but I've been pre-preparing a lot of the material. Like the flashing, for example, I did flashing for this one and the next one. So the next one, both because I've got experience with it and because I've already pre-prepared some materials, the next one should go a little faster. So I'm gonna screw this in. Let's see, a really hot day today. Well, it's not super hot but I'm really sweating out here. Right in front of the house, it's like a microclimate. All right, here we go. All right, that's pretty good. Yeah, overall this process has gone pretty well. I accidentally, pre, I pre-tapped all these holes and on the other side I accidentally put them on the wrong side of my line, which is a common mistake in carpentry. You draw a line and then you forget which side of it you're supposed to be working on. But, you know, it's not a huge deal. Let's patch them up. And now I'm using, uh, I don't have any out here, I'm going to have to go in for them. I'm using longer screws. I'm using one and five eighths inch screws to go through the three quarter inch board here. And because this one's going in at an angle, I'm using two and a half inch screws. 